65 years. What an amazing journey it has been, taking us from June 29, 1957, at the foundation of ICSID, the International Council of Societies of Industrial Design, now World Design Organization. An amazing journey taking National Council to get together to learn, promote, and share the best practice in industrial design. 65 years that took us to bring our contribution to society, to bring industrialization, solutions, products to our communities to improve their quality of life. 65 years though, that now bring us to a situation where we're facing challenges greater than ever, whether it's climate change, resource depletion, or pollution around our communities. Now we need to address this, and it will take leadership to do so. The theme of today's World Industrial Design Days, Let's Talk Leadership, is based on this ambition the design community has to bring its contribution for a better future. And we have today a 24-hour sprint of conference taking us around the world to explore different types of leadership that designers can bring to the contribution. And it will be very diverse. Um, we've shown in the past how we've worked more on product and we're now exploring different fields, going from service design, system design, user experience, and we will need all those contribution to change the behaviors, to change society as it needs to become more sustainable. I'm Bertrand Durand, Managing Director of the World Design Organization, and I'm happy to greet you today for World Industrial Design Day. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Let's Talk Leadership in celebration of World Industrial Design Day 2022. My name is Sarah Virginie, and I am the Programs and Communications Officer here at WDO, and I'm very happy to be joined by my colleague and co-host, Natalie Dutil, who is WDO's Communication Manager. We are coming to you live today from the WDO Secretariat in Montreal, Canada, where we will be broadcasting over the course of the next 24 hours as we celebrate leadership in design and hear from designers, innovators, change makers, and leaders around the world that are using design to carve out a new way forward. Before we begin today's event, we'd like to take a moment to acknowledge that WDO's Secretariat is located on the unceded Indigenous territory of the Gaga. For centuries, these lands have served as a traditional gathering place for many nations, and we at WDO honor this continued legacy of Indigenous leadership, collaboration, and wisdom. For us at WDO, 29th of June is a special day that marks the founding of our organization back in 1957. World Industrial Design Day is a program that was created in 2007 to celebrate this moment. To this day, it remains the first international day of observance created to highlight the merits of the industrial design profession and its impact on quality of life. Today is both a celebration of our past and our future and the unique power of design to shape our world for the better. And that's exactly why we are here today, to celebrate our international industrial design community, as well as recognize the contribution and important role design plays in our lives. As Sarah said, 29 June is a special day for us at WDO, especially this year in 2022, as we celebrate our 65th anniversary. As you heard WDO's Managing Be Director Bertrand de Rome say at the beginning of our program, we are looking back at 65 years of accomplishments in the profession of industrial design, but we're just getting started. For those of you who might not know, WDO, our organization began in the late 1950s with 12 national design organizations and professional associations. ICSID was officially founded on 29 June at a special meeting in London and under the name of International Council of Societies of Industrial Designers. The organization was officially registered in Paris where the first secretariat was established. We will be revisiting our roots in Paris in about 12 hours, halfway through our program today, where we will hear from our WDO board of directors who are gathered there in commemoration of the beginnings of our organization. Six and a half decades later, WDO has now grown with a membership base of 185 member organizations in 40 countries, supporting industrial design driven programs, projects and initiatives around the world. You will have an opportunity to see and hear from a number of these members who will be joining us over the course of the 24 hours with sessions on leadership as we celebrate 29 June all around the world. In preparation for this milestone, a few months ago, we launched a call to our global community to send us videos describing their best memories of their time with ICSID or WDO and their hopes for the future. 
We are very fortunate to have received dozens of these messages and we are excited to take a look at these special 65th anniversary messages from our global design community. Let's take a look. Happy 65th anniversary to the World Design Organization. It's really an amazing achievement and I feel so privileged and honored to be the WDO president during this important milestone. Having served on the board a number of times, starting in 1997, I have seen the transition from ICSID into the modern organization of WDO. It's been impressive and it's been spectacular, with many leading design organizations and institutions continuing to join the global design community from practically everywhere around the world. We now have a greater understanding of how design can play a significant role in solving complex problems, and we work to take a leadership position to utilize the power of design to focus on sustainability and to improve quality of life. Congratulations to WDO and the design profession for another 65 years. Hello, happy birthday WDO. It's indeed a grand occasion for WDO to be celebrating the 65th anniversary. I have been fortunate to be part of the then ICSID to now WDO. And during the tenure that I had, I've had opportunities to meet with global design leaders and discuss topics of mutual interest. The crowning moments for me came in 2017 when I was named the president-elect in Torino and later in 2019 when I took over the presidency in Hyderabad. Keeping WDO alive and active during my presidency is another cherishing moment for me. I wish WDO to continue its march in creating a better world for the next 65 years. Hi, I'm Eisuke Tachikawa, the president of JIDA, Japan Industrial Design Association and CEO of Nozainer. Congratulations on the 65th anniversary of WDO. JIDA, uh, which was involved in the launch of WDO's predecessor, Ixid, is also celebrating its 70th anniversary this year. Let's make this anniversary year exciting together. We are very happy to be hosting the World Design Assembly in Tokyo next year, and we look forward to welcoming people from around the world to Japan. Our world is an unsustainable one. It is estimated that 65 years from now, we will have exceeded the limit of civilization. According to estimations, the Earth's temperature will have risen by about 3 degrees Celsius, and our current urban areas may not be habitable anymore. However, this is a future that we should be able to change. In other words, if we are celebrating 130 years of WDO in 65 years, it means that humanity will have overcome its challenges through creativity. To help us to reach that day, let's do whatever we can with design now. Hello from Helsinki, City of Design. My name is Hannah Harris. I'm the Chief Design Officer here at the City of Helsinki. And with me here, I have Päivi Hietanen and Meri Virta from Helsinki Lab, our very own design team. We want to send our warmest congratulations to the World Design Organization on its 65th anniversary. For Helsinki, our memories, really great memories with you, go back to 2012 when Helsinki was world design capital. That was a great year of success that showed us how design can be used to develop better cities. For us, over the past 10 years, design has really become one of our core functions, something that we use to help us better understand the needs of our residents, of the people of Helsinki, and better understand complex systemic challenges of our times. In short, design helps us create better urban life and a better city. So, once again, warm congratulations to you on your anniversary. Paljon onnea! Paljon onnea! Happy 65th anniversary, World Industrial Design Day, to all of our WDO members and friends. 
We've accomplished so much together. It's great to look back and see all the things we've done. When I look back and think of my favorite memories, I think of my time as a student and learning about the then ICSID. Our professor, Wim Gillis, the founder of our school, made it really important for students to understand what ICSID is and how to get involved. Here we are today, the World Design Organization, so many years later. So now, when I look forward to the next 65 years, I wonder what young people today, what students will be sitting here perhaps in 65 years, and who knows what wonderful stories they'll be telling you. I want to wish the World Design Organization a happy 65th anniversary. This organization is vital to the world, to advancing the cause of design, and to bringing people together to work towards resolving our global problems and issues. Um, one of my favorite memories of, uh, of the WDO, then known as ICSID, was the night of the retirement of the Secretary General, Karina Poto, uh, where we were in Berlin, Berlin in the Adlon Hotel and everyone was there from around the world. And it was just such a memorable moment about the change and the possibility in global affairs that can happen through design. And I hope that we will see advances in the world, uh, bringing the world to the right place that we need to go uh, through our designers working together for a better and more prosperous future for all. Happy anniversary, WDO. 65 years ago, design took a specific turn in its history. After the Second World War, it was the movement of industrial aesthetic. At the middle of the transformation of the need of reconstruction, it was important to invent a way to approach the question of how to transform our way of living. And this, to do it as closely as possible with the actors of the reconstruction. So it was a time to actually find the path for intellectual and militant adventure. Jack Vieno, co-founder of the WDO, is one of the most important theorists in the field of industrial design. And in France, he created and focused his entire life and work on Aesthetic Industriel. He created this Industrial Aesthetic Institute in 1951 and then later became the trained union of the profession. First by creating the Revue of the Aesthetic Industriel, then as the first International Liaison Committee, he created the WDO, at the time called the Industrial Council of Society of industrial design. He was the instigator of this first specific teaching and sharing of the discipline. He also ran one of the foremost agencies in the 50s called Technes that he founded in 49. Roger Talon and Jean Partenay, by the way, who was my teacher in my uh, design school in Paris, was very important to manifest this thinking. WDU could find its roots into the commitment, into founding theories of modernity. But as French designer, I learned about Jacques Viennot philosophy. Neither form nor function. The basic is the need of man. To turn the page of the dark years after the World War II, Industrial aesthetic did play a crucial role in reconstruction when guarantee the quality of a new material environment, habitat and goods of millions of people and in delivering the quality of life that most of us enjoy today. But history works in circle. Today humanity faces again new important and crucial challenges, war, climate change, transformation of our lives through digital uh, transformation. It's even more important to consider design today, like 65 years ago. WDO will play its role as a lighthouse of the human progress. I am so happy. Today is the World Industrial Design Day, and it's the 65th anniversary of the WDO. A good reason to celebrate. Je suis tellement ravi aujourd'hui lors de cette Journée mondiale du design, de souhaiter à la WDO son 65e anniversaire. Bravo WDO et long life to WDO.
Hello WDO. Hello WDO. Hello WDO. We hope that many young Korean designers continue their work with our contribution to design for a better world. Korea Design Membership will walk along with WDO. Hi, WDO! Happy Happy anniversary! We just want to thank uh, everybody at WDO for uh, the amazing work that you do, the way you support uh, design organizations from all around the world. Uh, we are truly excited to continue to develop this relationship and to partner with you on uh, bigger and better, better uh, concepts and, and ideas and to make this world a better place. So thank you all for all you do and uh, have a wonderful celebration. First of all, I would like to congratulate the World Design Organization for these 65 years of life. At Andre World, we work every day manufacturing sustainable designs that combine craftsmanship with technology, aimed at the well-being and health of people around the world. Like uh, the World Design Organization, we believe in a better future, where designs are durable, with materials design designed with their second life in mind. I would like to thank you as well as the World Design Organization for participating and collaborating in our 20th anniversary celebration of the International Design Contest at Andre World, in which more than 1,000 students from all over the world took part, and in which we had members of these institutions such as Brandon Gien and other prominent figures like, like uh, Paolo Antonelli, Senior Curator of Museum of Modern Art of New York, uh, Philip Stark, the creator, the journalist Chantal Hamaide, uh, and the architect Rafael de Laoz. A very special edition was held in December last year, and it was the first act of Valencia as World Design Capital 2022. We also maintain outstanding memories of the 19, 2019 General Assembly in Hyderabad that we had the honor of participating and share the joy of the designation of Valencia, our hometown, where Andre World was born more than 65 years ago as world capital of design. Lastly, I would like to share my personal experience when I personally visited the headquarters in Montreal. With, uh, I, I share my time with an exceptional human team with a vocation and purpose to bring design as an axis of social, cultural, economic and environmental development, a holistic vision of design shared by companies, designers, institutions, cities and countries. Congratulations to the World Design Organization and all its members. What a perfect way to lead us into our program, Let's Talk Leadership. Every World Industrial Design Day has a theme for us to rally around, and this year is no exception. In 2022, good leadership cannot be taken for granted. It's also a time for non-designers to recognize the important role design plays in leading corporations, universities, and cities. In these 65 years, we have seen the field of industrial design expand beyond making beautiful products. And we want to elevate the contribution of our fellow designers to the level of the highest decision makers. Let's talk leadership is about more than highlighting individuals who, design, who manage design teams or who have accrued decades of experience. We will have the opportunity over the next 24 hours to speak with designers of all ages and experiences, share what leadership means to them or how they have become design leaders in their own right. The beauty of the 24 hour program is that we have an opportunity to travel and hear these individual perspectives and stories on leadership. This is a rare opportunity for us to connect, learn from each other, and discuss the values of leadership and what makes a good leader today. At WDO, we believe that anyone can be a leader. Anyone can inspire change. And we hope that each of you watching at home or in your offices are inspired by our speakers today and also empowered to take the next step and make a difference in your workspaces, communities, and beyond. We want to thank you for joining us. And while we know that you might not be watching all 24 hours live, you can catch up with us at any point on social media or watch these sessions on demand in July. 
If you're streaming through Hopin, please use the comments section to tell us where you're watching from and what sessions have brought you here. The comments are enabled so we can read your questions aloud when we're having those conversations with our guests today. We also want to hear from you on Facebook, on Twitter, and on Instagram. Find us at worlddesign.org and use the hashtags WID2022 or Let's Talk Leadership. You will be seeing a lot of both Natalie and myself over the course of the next 24 hours as we weave you through our leadership stories, conversations, and discussions. You will also get to meet w WDO Community Engagement Officer, Dorothy Balad, who will step in to moderate some sessions for us about halfway through our program. Let's Talk Leadership would not be possible without the support of our community. And in many ways, this program stands as a testament to the continued collaboration of our global network of members, partners, and friends. In late April of this year, we launched a call to the international design community to participate in our program. And we received an overwhelming number of submissions from designers around the world that were looking to share their take on leadership. For us, as was the case last year with our 24-hour event exploring diversity in design, it was important that we had representation across different sectors, regions, and cultures. And the program you will get to see today is indeed very diverse. Let's Talk Leadership will bring together 43 sessions, 78 speakers from over 27 countries around the world. To accommodate all possible time zones, our program is divided into three regional segments. So we'll be following the sun over the course of the next 24 hours and celebrating World Industrial Design Day in every country. We will kick off today's program in Asia and Oceania, welcoming speakers from Japan, Korea, Taiwan, China, Philippines, Turkey, India, New Zealand, and Australia. Moving into the second part of the day, we'll travel to Europe and Africa with sessions from Spain, Italy, France, Finland, United Kingdom, South Africa, Ghana, and Morocco. We will then close out the day in the Americas, hearing from speakers located in Brazil, El Salvador, Mexico, Canada, and the United States. As Natalie mentioned, the theme of leadership coincides quite nicely with WDO's 65th anniversary. It represents a moment for us to take a step back as an organization and reflect on the last six and a half decades and all we have accomplished together. But leadership is of course larger than WDO. And if you are to learn anything over the course of the next 24 hours, it is that leadership is diverse in its many meanings and applications. It represents something different to everyone. Whether you are a recent graduate just starting out on your career path or a design professional with 20 years of experience behind you, we hope this program highlights the ability of every individual to harness their capacity as a leader. And while we do hope you are able to join us for as many sessions as possible, whether it's at the beginning or the end of your day, know that we will be taking some time at the very end of our program alongside a very special guest to uh, showcase some of the highlights and lessons learned over the course of the last 24 hours. But first, we have an exciting program of leadership conversations, presentations, and discussions that we are so excited to share with you all.